David with DFW Gun Cleaning. Back today to talk about the SKSD. This is going to be the SKS that accepts AK-47 pattern magazines. First, I wanted to go over kind of a standard pattern SKS with you. Uh, the SKS itself was developed in the early 40s by Sergei Simonov in Russia. And it was adopted by the Russians in 1945 as the SKS-45 quickly made obsolete by the infamous, world-famous AK-47. This carbine does use the same 762 by 39 millimeter cartridge as the AK-47. It feeds from a hinged, fixed, 10-round magazine here below the stock. It features a permanently attached folding bayonet. This one is of the later cruciform pattern, used extensively by the Chinese as well as several other countries. The primary differences between the SKSD and the SKS here are, uh, there's, there's a couple. The main thing is going to be that fixed magazine. Next, here in the top of the bolt, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the bolt itself is cut for stripper clips. Once the bolt is locked to the rear, you can charge this magazine with a 10 round stripper clip of 762 by 39 ammunition. This, particu this particular example was made by Arsenal 306 in China, uh, part of the Norinco Industries and imported by Poly Technologies out of Atlanta. I believe this is right around the 1972 production. It's very difficult to ascertain all of the information with 100% certainty due to the various, you know, arsenals that consisted or that made up the Norinco. Norinco is North China Industries. This particular example is the SKSD. The SKSD is not really no, it's nowhere on the gun does it say SKSD. It was just imported as the SKS. Collectors have given it the D acronym for detachable because this one feeds from a standard AK-47 pattern detachable magazine. These ship with 30 round magazines. They were imported from about 88 to 94. This particular one was from Beta Arms, who imported about 6,900 of these firearms. This is a more desirable SKSD in my opinion. It features the later bolt with no stripper clip guide. And there is no bolt hole open on the SKSD. Since it does not feed from the internal magazine, it does not have the mechanism and the receiver to hold the bolt open on the last round. Just like the AK, it will go home on an empty magazine. In addition, this SKSD in particular has a stock that was made specifically for the detachable magazine. Many of the stocks you will see on the SKSD pattern guns originally had the cutout for the fixed 10 round hinge magazine. Uh, they were either filled with a block of wood, which is very easy to tell because it is glued into place, or they were filled with a simple sheet metal stamping. This is a very, very clean rifle. I'm, I'm pretty confident that it has never been fired by looking at the bore. Anyways, a buddy of mine picked this up on Gunbroker the other day. I just wanted to show you guys the SKSD in all of its glory. This is the SKSD. Hopefully we'll uh, get out to the range with my buddy soon. We can put some rounds down it and get that on film for you guys. If you have any questions about the SKS or SKSD, let me know down below in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Have a great day.